look, there's just massive money to be made right now trading meme coins. And I don't say that lightly. 10Xs are just the norm right now. I discussed with you in my previous meme coin video, some of the setups I was looking at on Solana in particular. This is one of the ones I traded, choose rich every time, Nick. And at the peak where I was taking some of my profits, I was up 1400%. So literally with a tiny initial position, I got up to a profit of 61 Solana. Now, obviously I didn't cash out everything at the top. That's not how you trade meme coins. That's just luck. You slowly get out of the position by taking profit just before important psychological round number market cap levels. For this particular trading account, it was that one trade that really increased my wallet balance significantly. And I'm still in other coins. For example, some of the ones I discussed recently, one of them is Soul Chat. I'm still in that one too. I recently cashed out profits in Peng, P-E-N-G. And on any given week, I'm usually have between anywhere from four meme coins to 10 meme coins and I'm invested in all of those, about four to 10. And if they're in profits and they're doing well, I give them space to run. If they're really struggling, I cut my losses quickly. I don't just hold on to losing bags. That's a recipe for disaster when it comes to meme coins, because once a downtrend is established, you can easily lose 70 or 80% of value in that particular position. Now, if you're brand new and you don't know that and it's happened to you, don't worry. We all go through that at the beginning. A lot of people are messaging me as well on Twitter showing me how they've made a lot of money with these flips. Very, very simple strategies and they're just rinsing and repeating it on meme coins again and again. I don't know how many weeks or months or hopefully even longer the market conditions will stay this good and this easy. Obviously, you need to learn and understand the basics. You need to avoid rugs, scams. You need to know how to take profits well in these positions. But really, 10x is not really a big deal anymore with meme coins. It should be the norm. Every single week, you should be getting one or two 10x's just as a normal thing. And I'm going to show you a few strategies you can use in this very video. Before I begin, I know a lot of you mention it anyway on my YouTube videos, but those of you who have been watching my meme coin videos just here on YouTube, comment below and let me know if you've made any really good flips when it comes to trading meme coins. Have you done any 2Xs, 3Xs or 5Xs or 10Xs? Because some of you watching are brand new. You won't believe this is possible. So it's good for them to see that this is actually possible as well. Having belief in something is really important as a first step in actually then trying to trade. I use Dex Screener for all of my meme coin trading now pretty much. And this is where I do my analysis. I then use bots when it comes to placing trades. For example, Bonkbot, which I use, link is in the description and I have videos on my channel showing you exactly how to set up your Bonkbot if you prefer to use that. When you're on the homepage of Dex Screener, this is one way I screen. I do a few different techniques and I share them all on my comprehensive trading program, link in description. But I'm going to show you a couple of the basic ones I use. One of them is just Dex Screener. On this main homepage, you will see everything that's trending at the moment. And actually, if you click on one of these, for example, BOMO, which is doing very well, and this was a brand new launch, this particular one, once you click on it and you read on the top here, the top bar, it shows you all of the trending meme coins right now. And you don't want to just click on them and randomly buy. Yes, you might get lucky if you do that from time to time. What you want to do is click on them and open them all in brand new tabs and leave your tab open, preferably for the next 24 hours. Now, don't worry, you don't need to just constantly watch it for 24 hours. You're just waiting for opportune setups, the right setups. For example, this particular one is doing really well. And let's say you bought here all the way around this mark. In fact, let's change it to market cap. So it gives you a better idea because this ran up to a market cap of 60, well, 70 million. So if you bought, a lot of people were saying, even in my last video, what is this Nick thing? Why would you be buying something so ridiculous? And also some other people are saying, oh, the market cap's already high. Look, it's meme coin season. 3 million, 4 million in market cap is not high. I've seen many, many coins over the last even just few days run from 1 or 2 or 3 million market cap all the way to 50 or 60. That's not a big deal right now. In a bear market, 60 million is a very, very big deal, not in a bull market. Just understand that difference. So don't be scared if something's sitting at higher market caps to try and make big multiples. Even if you bought here what most would consider late, 
bouncing at a very round number of 10 million. Now, I didn't trade this one. I've just now saw it as I'm talking to you. But even this was at least a 5x. You're not going to get the entries perfect, but it's at least a 5x uh, just there. But if you bought there at the top, if you literally bought at the top of price, you'd be down right now 78%. So if you put 10 soul in, you'd only have 2.5 soul left. However, if you put 2.5 soul here at the beginning and you held it and you took most of the profits near to the top, which is quite possible to do, you just need to watch it for literally an hour or so, not hard for you to do whatever's going on in your life, then you would have made a profit of, well, well, let's say you uh, invested 10 soul because that's what we're talking about here. So 10 soul in here, then you would have changed that into 50 or 60 soul. So this, this, what I'm doing here in terms of trades, this is not uncommon. Absolutely not every one of my trades will be a 1400%. I have trades where I lose as well. And I might take a loss of one soul or two soul. And it's not that big a deal because I don't know which ones are definitely going to run. I'm just trading the setups. If I see a good setup and I follow my strategy and it runs, I don't know at this setup point how high it's going to run. It might stop here. It might stop here. I don't know. I do know that I'm going to watch for psychological levels and I'm going to take profits all the way up. For example, the 50 million mark, I'm more than likely going to take some profits. The 20 million mark, I would have taken some profits. And then if I saw a lower high, I would take some profits there as well. That's how you need to trade meme coins. And notice now we've had a bounce and we've had a move up here and a higher low. So this could be setting up for another run. So I'm going to keep this tab open and watch it very, very carefully because I have certain things I look for for this next wave setup. And I just rinse and repeat. And that's all it is, it's not that complicated. And I open a few different uh, meme coins at the same time and I just keep track. I don't watch them constantly for 24 hours. Don't make that mistake, you don't need to do that. If it's these longer term trades where you might hold for a day all the way up to seven days or longer, open them into new tabs, have like 10, 20 tabs open. And then next time you come to check the screen, screen through all of the ones you were looking at and see if any are close to a decent optimal setup. And if you see that setup, trade and then monitor to the trade. If you don't see a setup, don't chase it. Don't chase green candles. Don't chase things that are going up. Wait for pullbacks. Always, 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 especially with meme coins. I repeat that in every single meme coin video. I'll repeat it again. Wait for pullbacks. Even if you have no clue what you're doing and you wait for pullbacks, you might still get out unscathed <laughs> without too much of a loss. Or you might get lucky and you might... Uh, make a little bit of profit as well. We don't know which ones are, how far these are going to go. I can't tell you that. I can estimate, I can do a little bit of Fibonacci extension work here, but still it's not going to be reliable for meme coins. What I can do is optimal setups. I can see when it's going to bounce and when the trend is going to change. That I can definitely do with technical analysis and it's not always 100%, but it definitely works. So literally on the homepage here, that's what I'll be doing. For example, this is one called Michael Saylor. I know that happens to be a very common narrative, so that's repeated a lot. But again, I would go into a market cap, see what happened with price, see if it's had its wave one move, which was this, and let's see if it's setting up for another move up. So let's see if this 1 million round mark was the bottom and if it's going to push up. I'm going to keep an eye on volume, I'm going to keep an eye on momentum, and I'm going to keep an eye on the most recent trades here as well. And obviously, I'm going to just have a quick check of the contract to make sure it's safe to trade. And again, if you don't know how to do that, subscribe to the channel. I have videos, look through my videos on meme coins, and I show you exactly how to do that step by step. My videos are reasonably easy to follow. You might have to repeat, uh, watch them once or twice, but let me know. Like, are my videos easy to follow? Are you making money from watching my videos? Please let me know in the comment section below. It's always nice for me to hear that. Here's another one, Whiff's Dog With Scarf. So obviously it's based on the narrative Dog With Hat, and this is a um, what we might call a derivative collection. Now this particular one, I'm just trying to see how old it is. So I'm, I'm looking back on the chart. So I always scroll all the way back, get it onto market cap and see exactly what's happened so far. So I don't want to be buying any highs. And I can see it had a run up initially, um, massive sell off as well, bounced at what looks like about 680. And then now it's got a pump going. So am I going to trade this? No, I'm not going to buy anything at the highs here. And I'm going to make sure I check socials here on the right hand side just to see how they're doing in terms of engagement and stuff like that. Quick glance, nothing major. And then I want to see if we can set up a pullback trade. And I use Fibonacci levels for that. And that's how I set up all of these trades. And it's not only Solana I'm looking at. 
because if you watch my recent video where I think Injective and Solana and Avalanche are going to absolutely take off in terms of uh, meme coins, I'm going to be looking at the Avalanche ones. So for example, I'm going to be looking at things like Kimball, for example. This is a uh, one of the more popular ones on Avalanche, which is another blockchain. And I wouldn't be surprised if this is really starting to get legs and start starting to rally, which it is. But it's only just getting started because Avalanche is only just now breaking out. This is only just broken over all time highs and 44 million. Um, you might think again, if you're new, oh, that's really high in terms of market cap. But then when you look at things like Dog with Pat and they're in the billions on Solana, why can't some of the Avalanche meme coins at least get to half a billion, 500 million, stuff like that? That's how your mind needs to work here because we're in a different market environment. You can see very clearly at the bottom, this is not a fake pump or anything. There is massive volume coming into the market. So please take your time, learn how to do this properly and be thankful for the opportunity. Like I said, I hope this is around for many months that market conditions are so good that even beginners can make really, really nice flips. And 10x is, it's a lot. Look, let's be honest, even if you had only $100 or $1,000, turning it into $10,000, that, that is really, really good. That pays off a lot of debt, a lot of loans. You can buy a pretty decent car with $10,000. Put down payments on a house or apartment. It's a good starting point. What's even better, what you really should do once you make that, is break it up into 10 chunks and then put 10 new meme coin trades. And if some of those take off, then your $10,000 can absolutely flip into $50,000 or more. And that's when you really know what you're doing when it comes to cryptocurrency. And at that point, you don't need advice or calls. People always message me, uh, you know, asking me for, to just to give them random calls. Yeah, I'll, absolutely, I'll discuss more setups that I think are favorable on my YouTube videos. That's helpful too. But what's even more helpful is teaching you how to fish because then you can look for those yourself. Hope that helps. Thanks for listening.